again Tuesday night at 7 o'clock for a prayer night, shall carry. If not Wednesday night, prayer at 7. 6.30, Wednesday night, 6.30, spiritual growth. All right, leave it alone. Brother Sister Elder, God bless you. This is Mr. Jesus' name, and I'm from the presence of the Lord. for a second before you get out of here. And if you would like, you can have a seat. Um, we got something special we're getting ready to do. Um, so if you would like to come back and just have a seat, it'll just take a couple minutes. Isn't the Lord good? Yes. Amen. So good to feel His presence. Amen. Amen. Save souls, heal the sick, amen? Amen. So thankful for that. But it all starts with leadership, amen? Amen. And as most of you all know, uh, this month has been Pastor Appreciation Month. Month? Did I say that correct? Yeah. Pastor Appreciation Month. And most of you have known, you guys have uh, pitched in, and we've got something special for Brother and Sister Oliver today. Um, we're just kind of waiting on it to show up, so that's why I'm kind of taking my time. Um, but we have a pastor that loves us, amen? amen? We know that by the service we have today. He's not in this. Him and his wife are not in this to be a leader. They're not in this to for the money, which as a board member I can tell you is probably, well not probably, it definitely isn't enough for the job that they have upon them. But they do it because not only do they love the Lord, they do it because they love each and every one of us. Not only do they love each and every one of us, but they love our families. Amen. And they love souls. Amen. And that's what a pastor should be. Amen. A pastor should be about love and compassion and being there for his saints. Amen. Amen. And we have that kind of pastor. And I'm not going to sit up here and just, because I can go on and on. Not only do I know him sing a solo, not only as I know him as my brother-in-law, my best friend, a traveling companion when we go on vacations together. Uh, but I stand up here as my uh, him as my pastor today. He's someone I can talk to. Each and every one of us know that we can talk to and go to in our times of need. Amen. Amen. And and not only just go to him, but know that he cares about us and he cares about the situation that we may be going through. Amen. Amen. And we're going to have him come up, him and his wife, Sister Oliver, come up. I'm sorry. You found her? Oh, there she is. She was hiding out. And I can tell you, not, neither one of them do this for this right here. Amen. They do this because they love us. We'd like them to come out and just greet us. And then I'm going to come back up with a few more words and uh, what we're going to do next. Amen. Amen. Brother and Sister Oliver.
dressed in Jesus' name. Again, thank you so much. I had written something I didn't share this with you, but I wrote this down as a reminder to thank all, everyone here at the church for the cards, the text messages. The pastor appreciates it. I greatly appreciate that so much. We are truly blessed. We are truly blessed. It's awesome to pastor people that want to pastor. That want to be accountable because they hold us accountable. But who's they? Brother, sister Gary, Barbara Keller, they're, my, they're our pastors. God's been good to us. Church, I want you to look around. We're blessed today. Every young child. Gavin, I think all of the, the youngest babies here. We're blessed to have them uh, with us. And not just that, you all as well, our guests. We're so honored to pastor the greatest church on the face of this earth. We are. We are, we are the greatest church. The greatest church. I'm reading from <laughs> Psalms chapter 119, verse 1 through 169. <laughs> Isn't God good to us? We do appreciate this so much. Very surprised. Well, God bless you. Just, I guess, text. Tell your, your friends you'll be home a little bit. Do not check fantasy football for the congregation of the righteous. <laughs> Call your restaurant and tell them you need to change your reservations. Do we have time? Does anyone want to be baptized? How's that? <laughs> Upstairs, Sister Cunningham's class and Sister Daniel Elsie's class made my wife and I something for past appreciation. It's downstairs with different candies about greasy pieces, loving you to pieces, and, uh, great payday, they put a big payday candy bar, and uh, whatever we go through, whatchamacallit. And, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty neat. I'm going to keep it, try to find a frame big enough to. to, to Frank, because I don't ever want to get rid of it. Donald, you cannot get in that candy either. And there'll be 12 young ladies. <laughs> but God's good to us. God bless you. Amen. The Lord is good to us. Amen. Amen. I just got the motion back here. We have about five minutes, but I'm not going to stand up here and talk for five minutes. Not testimonies. <laughs> brother Elmer stood up. Go ahead, brother. Elmer. <laughs> but if we all want to, uh, they said we got about four or five minutes. Uh, there's going to be a limo show up out here that's going to whisk brother and sister Oliver away for a great evening um, to relax and without their kids. Pray for me. I'm taking those kids. <laughs> If you would like, we're going to stand up and then uh, there's going to be a ride that come out front, probably about three or four minutes. If you'd like to just wish them well as they walk out to the ride, almost like they're getting married again. I don't know, I don't know really what my wife was wanting, but if you want, and then you can just tell them how much you love them and appreciate it. Amen. Amen. We love you all. God bless. <laughs>